This video is designed to talk you through the air masses which affect the UK. In this video you can see, sorry, in this diagram you can see the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 air masses that affect the UK. If we come up to this uh, section of the video you can see that an air mass is a large body of air with similar characteristics of temperature and moisture. The air mass takes on the characteristics of temperature and moisture from the area where it is formed. So, if we think about this, these three air masses typically come from cold areas. Okay, so they produce they have typically cold temperatures. These two air masses typically come from warm areas, so they have warm temperatures. The two continental air masses come, are formed over land, so they have dry characteristics. And these three form over the sea and therefore have wet characteristics. Let's deal with polar maritime first of all. So we can see here that polar means cold and maritime means wet and it comes from this northwest direction towards the UK. So a polar maritime air mass gives us cool temperatures uh, in summer, cold temperatures in winter, and wet characteristics throughout the year. The next air mass is polar continental. Polar, again, means cold. Continental means dry. So if we again look at this table, summer temperatures will be cool, winter temperatures cold, moisture characteristics dry. Third air mass, tropical continental. Tropical continental. Tropical means warm. Continental means dry. Let's look at the characteristics. So again, hot in the summer, mild winter temperatures and dry throughout the year. Next one, tropical maritime. Let's have a look at it. Tropical means, in this example, warm. Maritime means wet. So if we again look at the conditions, warm in summer, mild in winter, and wet throughout the year. Final air mass is this Arctic air mass, often just called Arctic, but can be referred to as Arctic maritime. This means cold and wet. Looking at the characteristics, cold in summer, cold in winter, and wet throughout the year. So the five main air masses from the UK and their characteristics.